Sunday morning, huh? <laughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. I just said I would come on for a second. I like to say this week's been kind of a bit of an experiment. I'm curious at times in the morning what they're like. Because for us, I mean, here it's what, quarter to 11. In Latvia, where my wife is from, originally it would be like quarter to five. So, depending where you are, it's a morning, it's an afternoon, hey, it's midnight somewhere. It's kind of cool. So, I just bring down my phone. Yeah, I just thought I'd come on for a minute. See if anybody's around. Just, just to play around for a few minutes. Let's see here. Two viewers. Tristar, good morning. How are you? Good to see you. How are you doing today? Like I said, I just came on for a little bit. Same as yesterday, just to kind of play around a bit. I think you were in yesterday, if I'm not. Where? I know you were definitely last night. Uh, did you? Bottle caps. Good morning. Good to see you. We are headed to a renaissance. Oh, cool. Oh, that must that would be amazing. Definitely, I'm hoping we're going to see some great videos from there. Renaissance Festival in Oklahoma. Interesting. No, definitely. Looking forward to seeing the videos. You are making videos, right? Of it? Hint, hint. Just double checking. <laughs> Michael, how's it going? Good to see you. Orton Images. Yes, good afternoon. That's what I was just saying. Depends on the time of day. Good to see you here. Um, it's always good to have you. Yeah, we... It's so weird, like, I see a name like yours, and it's sad, you know? We just kind of sometimes follow. It's so hard in you in YouTube to stay connected sometimes, and, I mean, I like your con. Now you need a great way to kill time while... Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, okay, yes, now, so sorry, TriStar. I, I know what you mean now, yes. I, and I, it's too bad we tried to truck. I thought you meant watching the show for a second. I thought your, your, your pickup or something was broke down. But, yes, your husband's truck. Sorry about that. Yeah, Orton Images, yeah, I mean, I always loved your work and stuff like that, and we've kept in touch, and it's amazing how quickly you can fall apart. I'm even going to look to just make sure that I still have the bell rung. Okay, good. It's really sad. I, that bugs me sometimes, you know, because it's hard. You, you, uh, there's so much great content and stuff like that. We follow each other. Sophia's passion for cooking. Hello. Welcome. Good to see you again. That's right, TriStar. There's always a silver lining, and that's the way to do it. I remember when um, Xenia first came to Canada that spring, there was a flood in uh, Calgary or somewhere. It was, you know, well, the Alberta area down around the, I mean, general vicinity, and there was people lost their homes and stuff like that. And she, like she was so shocked to see the way people were handling it. You know, like they're on the news and they're like, and then the guy's like, well, you lost your home. You lost everything. And she's like, yeah, I know. But we still have our family, and uh, I'm worried about my neighbors. I hope they're all okay and stuff like that. So, <laughs> yeah, try sorry, exactly, because the bells, they're, they're, they're not um, set in stone anymore, that's for sure. Philip, good morning. Good to see you. Philip writes some of the most amazing comments on our live stream. They... Uh, and like I say, and I've said it time and time again, the live streams are all fine. All we do is offer a place to gather. It's you guys and the guests that make it so much, such a great experience. The time difference doesn't help, but I'm about on James Cox and Verdict Streams. Okay. Yes, that's true. I see you in there. I'm about to join the streams and have a chat with the streamer and those in the chat. Yeah, I get you. I get you full. There, sir. Hopefully, we can have you by sometime, too, if you get a chance. Love to have you on sometime on the live stream. My dashboard and app updated, and it's all weird now. <laughs> yeah, that's the great part about updates, isn't it? It's always a learning curve. <laughs> They make sure of that. 
Uh, there is going to be a lot more changes coming soon into it. But they're starting because they don't want people. I know what it is. They don't want people going to Social Blade and stuff like that as much. So they're trying to give more into it. Oh, that's funny. Tristar's <laughs> Tristar's comment. How is everybody this morning? Like I say, I just wanted to come on, and it gives me a chance tonight. It's like you know, uh, Orton Images being from the UK is a great example of that. You know, and at our time of night, I know it's not the best time for a lot of people in Europe, so especially eastern part of Europe. So it's always nice just to kind of connect. Oh, I take it you're not a fan, Orton. <laughs> Good morning, Kathy. Our guest from last night. That was so amazing. That was, that was such an incredible stream. Uh, the, the, the numbers were amazing from it. Thank you so much. I mean, uh, it, it helps us. I hope it's helping you as well, and I hope it helps everybody in the chat. Like I say, we don't push anything. I'm not going to be a circus leader. We just... <laughs> Just it's a good byproduct of all of it. If everybody wins, everybody's happy. And it's a nice calm atmosphere. And like last night again, too, it's nice to have people chatting amongst themselves, plus chatting on what's being said. We had an amazing conversation with uh, Kathy and her husband. It was I, I hate to admit it, because I'll say because Xenia's not in the room right now. Yeah, it was kind of like a double date. <laughs> oh. I can't tell Xenia that at all here, but all the time. We should be doing it all the time. So <laughs> Yeah, or, I'm still in the classics too. I want to see once they pretty much. I mean, I go look at it, but I'll stay in the classics and see where they're at after that. And then, because these things here always take weeks, sometimes months for them to iron out all the, the, the crap. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It really was. Uh, it was. Last night was probably the pinnacle of where we wanted to take the live stream since we started. No, oh. and it's been kind of a we've had to deal with some people through the week, so it was rewarding to have that. And I, I think the proof was in the pudding in the way that people enjoyed it. Susie, good morning. How are you today? We tried to share your video again last night, but they kept resetting the chat, uh, resetting the live stream. So at the time when I tried to, it had me on as a guest. So really, Kathy wasn't, and Chris were hosting us. <laughs> They're all at the controls. Yeah, I know. I need more coffee. I asked my son to put on a pot for me because I forgot to. So I got this just keeping me going until the new one comes. I've made lots of suggestions, the real-time views. But in the classic mode is the best. It's spin and the new is rubbish. Lacks detail. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, I'll wait and see where it goes. I'm giving the benefit of the doubt. Not even giving the benefit of the doubt. I just know how usually these first ones go. It's usually pretty crappy. So, And then see if it's still crappy when they're done playing with it. <laughs> there you go. Bottle Caps and Susie are in the house. It's morning time. And the world's a little happier now. And they do miss each other when one's on, not the other. They're constantly asking for the other, which is kind of which is cute. That's good to see. I like that. So we are hot. I miss for another week or so. Has one more. Can we talk? Oh well, it's good to enjoy the time. Don't worry, there'll be lots of time for YouTube and everything once he goes back to work. It's good that you get to enjoy that time together. Oh, you're going to watch the Avengers, Kathy. Excellent. Well, that's good. Enjoy. That's a nice way to... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do today. Xenny was up early with Audrey this morning, as Audrey's usually wake-up call is holding her mother's eye open and asking her if she's awake. But... So she's just doing her own thing for a little while. I said I'd come on. As uh, as bottle caps like to call it, it's the, the man show. But ladies are always welcome. I can't believe how many people. Oh, uh, Bradford Backwood, Surrey. I, I just you know, welcome. 
So good to have you here. So, uh, been such a great support. I gotta get by your life. I have always have a ball in your live streams. I love them. I was gonna go on last night, but literally I was falling asleep at the computer. But I always try to come in for a little while. And Vanessa Kitty, so happy to have you here. Always good to have you here. Yeah, like I say, it's Monday, so uh, Sunday morning, so it's not gonna get. It's, I mean, I don't think we're ever too, like, in your face all crazy, but. Oh, and I will recognize it, Orton, as football, because it is football, and I will give you that. So I appreciate the soccer. That's very obliging of you. Um, and even in Montreal, they kind of, I mean, even though we have a foot, American football team and uh, soccer, uh, some still like the purists want to call it uh, football, and then they'll say American football or Canadian football for our team. So, have a great one. Enjoy. Thanks for coming by. I would love to catch a game there sometime. By the way, uh, I was in England two years ago, but I didn't go to London or uh, like the South Side because I want to save that for when my wife is with me. But she's always she she was raised. In Latvia, and she learned started learning English at three in an international school, and she was taught British English. So she's always dreamt of getting to going to London. So I want to do that with her. She uh, when she first came here, like it was never pharmacy or anything. She always called it the uh, we can ask the chemist and stuff like that. So yes, Kathy Philip gives the most amazing comments, and you look at his comment again. He put this morning. Underneath, actually, I, I want to read it. If you there, I, if you guys don't mind, you'll just oblige me for a second. I would really like to address what, and this is not the first one he's put, but it's um, it really, really, really makes everything worth it. Uh, my channel, my career, uh, career studio, uh. Video, thank you, son. Um, just bear with me for a second. I want to bring it up here and pause it right away so we don't get too much noise. I'm gonna go down to his comment. Where are we here? Okay, yeah, Sunday morning. This is a lot of maneuvering, so thank you for bearing with me. Uh, I love when your video suggested was something by Simon Cowell. I guess that name for Xenia is really catching on. Excellent show tonight. Thanks to all who participated. Miss Kathy and family were awesome. Little Jesse with her smile. Chris was really the star of the show. I think he did great once he got going and he really started to enjoy himself. He is very funny and the relationship is very close and healthy. Xenia and Andrew, you have a way of making all your guests so relaxed and comfortable about being on the streams. No pressure. Say or talk about anything you want. Letting people set their own boundaries about what they want to share is so great. That's the magic behind getting to know the people behind the channels or videos they make. As you guys say, as and as you say, and I agree, I really enjoy watching the content more now. I know about the people thank you again for everything and that really means a lot to us oh Bradford you're taking off uh, I'm gonna show you in your video today if you can still hear me I want to show the figure the, the the stove things I know I'm not pick, taking the right name for it but I really wanted to see it those were so cool and if you haven't checked out Bradford's uh, channel please do Yes, it was a very nice comment, and it really does mean a lot. I really, truly, truly appreciated it. So I, I wanted to read that out personally, and and they do mean a lot, Philip. It's um, it's uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. I just can't thank you enough. 
and and pretty much every day you know most times we get a comment like that from them and uh, it's so guys we're not getting rich off this stuff neither you it's no secret we all know what our numbers are it's one quick look to social blade if you're not sure about somebody so i don't believe in making i don't believe in trying to put on an act like something is huge when it's not but that doesn't mean it's not good there's a very big difference between the two and i am really happy where we're at we're bigger than we were months ago but we're also not gigantic i mean when you look at social blade we're down we've gone up from social rank blade from 11.5 million in the list of 3.6 million well that's great in a way we've jumped multi-millions up in the list but at the same time too we're still multi-millions from first so i i don't want to act like the be all end all here we're all just like i was using an example with xenia it's almost like in the uh, the universe i mean it's like thinking that earth is the only inhabitable place and then we're, this tiny little speck knows everything about our whole galaxy which is impossible uh, hmm. you too philip you guys are all awesome i mean the channel's great and been doing great for the size that it is and that's because of you guys. I mean, you guys' participation, uh, the guests, you know, uh, all make it amazing. And I love that. And it, it is what it is. No, we're not saying, oh, tonight as PewDiePie or Jack Septicai or Phil DeFranco sits with us close and personal. But we all are big supporters within each other. And I believe our channel has really brought out the Nothing's perfect, but I really do believe a high capacity, a high percentage of our chat uh, group is return uh, watchers, people who are in it and genuinely like and watch these people and truly comment on what they see the, them do in their channels. And no, we're not the biggest, but quality wise because of you guys i think we have a great 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 a great level of quality that we can all be proud of you know you take care of yourself kathy it was so nice for you to drop in thank you so much and thank you once again for last night you guys were truly amazing we had such a great time thank you uh, Thank you for, uh, and, and please thank Chris again. I, we laughed a lot, but I really did appreciate, and I took pride in seeing him like getting more comfortable as time went on. I mean, if there's anything we're doing into it that I want to feel we have a part of, is that we're approachable enough to help people feel more at ease about talking in front of a, a camera or webcam, whatever you call it. So thank you. So what do you guys got on your plate for today? Anybody want to share what they're doing today? That is so true, Philip. 100%. 100%. Listen, we're all small channels. There's no easy answers here. There's no, Everybody's uh, looking for like the, the quick fix and stuff like that. There's quick ways to jump fast, to do some, but it's still not going to... I know people probably think I'm a broken record. But if you're going to look to success, don't hate on a big guy, but pick the big guy that you admire. So far, I haven't waved on Peter McKinnon. And because he was that example of growing fast, but I mean, it's very simple what he did. He spent seven years perfecting his art, traveling around the world, filming magicians, which is a, probably one of the hardest things to film. So he paid his dues. He's shot for National Geographic and stuff like that, but he wasn't like uh, the biggest celebrity on the campus. But when he started his YouTube channel, the first thing he did was stay true to his con content, and he did a couple of very well-designed videos talking about things like eight things you always must have, a photographer must always have in his bag, uh, five tips to getting that amazing lighting. And it was a couple, just a couple of videos those ones do great because they're the ones that really make it into forums that follow photography, videography. Those are the type of videos that make it into Reddit, 
and get retweeted and news channels sometimes even pick up and that was the secret to the whole thing i mean he's shared it a thousand times and you look at his numbers where they happen and it makes perfect sense You have helped me a lot, and I thank you for that. Oh, my God. Well, Bradford, you've helped us just as much. I mean, this is such a – there's absolutely nothing here except us all getting together, and we all make something great, or we make something really bad. You know, it just it's all based on – you could have a great guest in a horrible chat group. You could have a horrible interviewer and a, and a great uh, chat and a bad guest. I mean, all those combinations, blah, 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 they all got to work together. And you guys are just great. You compliment it. I'm, I don't expect us to be as creative as when I make cinematic videos. And I, yes, I'm missing that right now. And I am going to be doing something about that. But on the other hand, when we turn off our webcam at night, when we're done here, the camera, I should say, I do believe that we've done something good enough that we can be proud of what we accomplished. We don't try to make a fake set and try to act, uh, you know, put on suits or put on green screens and have it look like a newsroom behind us. I don't want to do any of that stuff. I, I'm not interested into it. I want to be real. I just want to feel like, and like Kathy and her husband last night was such a great example. As he got more relaxed, you forget the cameras there so much. That's why sometimes I feel so bad we forget the chat because we get so caught up in the conversation. Real Canadian Lunker Hunter. Oh, good. Always great to have you. Uh, thank you so much for talking. Oh, hey, Joe. Yeah, solo man. Yeah, that's right. How you doing? Nice to see you. Like I say, this is just kind of an uh, impromptu uh, hangout for a few minutes. And uh, I'm trying this, too, because it's great to meet up with some of you guys, plus also some from Europe. I'm realizing that follow us. It is hard for them. Like I say, with my wife's family right now, it's 11 a.m. here, and her family back in Latvia, it's uh, 5 p.m., so... Our shows are kind of hard to get to. So glad to have you here. Uh, Badger Farm Girl, welcome. Yeah, real life. Exactly. Exactly. I I don't want, I don't want, there's nothing wrong with thinking big, but there's nothing that looks worse than pretending big. Pretending big is the five-year-old pretending he's his dad going to work with his clothes four times too big for him, which is cute. But... 44 years old, it's pretty hard for me to pull off cute. You take care, Susie. Have a great day. Xenia pulls off the cute. She gets she gets the cute points. How are you doing, Joe? Good to see you. Uh, a Wheaties box collection, Bradford. That's interesting. If any of you guys haven't checked out Bradford yet, there's another channel. He's so, I love it. I don't know if he appreciates when he uses the term, but you are eclectic. I love it. I love it. Yeah, we're not getting the good Canadian sunshine, and I guess Quebec finally got his wish and separated. We're getting some nice gray clouds. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get it later on today, I'm hoping. Oh, since you're here, Joe. There we go. We're going to make J a Joe. A moderator, we have to make Badger Girl Farm Girl a moderator. There you go. Bradford's not one yet. Well, that's just, there we go. There, see? Mods for everybody. That was, our, that was my the other day on my rant about people and uh, with our channel and stuff like that. Just always remember, though, Terrell runs the show. Think of yourselves, think of it like a group marriage and she's the head wife. So we all got a, she's, we all got moderator, but she gets to call the final. <laughs> oh, it didn't go through. I just seen, there you go, Badger Farm Girl. Now you're all set. Real Canadian Lunker, that is moderator. There we go. <laughs> oh. The Murray Sands Family Vlogs. I know your channel. I was just worried about mispronouncing your name because I am the worst at that stuff. Welcome. Good to have you. Guys, why we do the moderator thing is because that was the whole point. I There's channels taking stuff way too seriously. I, and some do for a reason, but I've been in this since the 90s. I've watched this all come and go. And... Uh, 
people cracking the whip and throwing threats and uh, and trying to like it, I always joke they become the ladies in waiting and we're not doing that here. You guys are adults. You know how to police yourselves. Once or twice, we just have to say if it's a family show. I'm looking at you, eh, Joe. <laughs> But it's not bad. We just like, you know, something had to be retracted and we move on. It's not like, oh, this happens again. You know, you'll not be part of the cult. Blah, 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 blah. And you're not going to get that here. You're adults. You guys are smart. You guys got your crap together. And I, I don't want to be that. I got two kids. I got to be a parent to. I don't have to be a parent to you guys. You guys are more than capable of handling yourselves. And, and you guys are. That's another part of the pride. You guys are still, in the end, I mean, so unbelievably respectful to guests. You're respectful to each other, and I love it. Uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. That really does make me proud. It really does. It Because uh, that's, once again, if you have good guests, you have good show. And uh, Oh, you got snow last night, Philip. Yeah. Kind of wasn't too far off here either. I'm surprised we didn't get some. That's always fun. So what's everybody else up to today? Yeah, yeah I know. Good luck. I know. <laughs> Once again, we're looking at you, bottle caps. Yeah, you should do more videos on your collections. I think that's neat. Doodles, good morning. Hi. Oh, my God, he's not a moderator. We'll fix that in a second. There you go. He's been back here lots. Yeah. Perfect. Spring cleaning. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. I hope it goes well for you, and it's got to be done. It's one of those things nobody wants to do, but it's got to be done, and it's better once it is done. You're seeing lots of flakes this morning, Doodles? Oh, 11 degrees and sunny. Well, it's better than what's here, I can tell you that. So you're still rubbing it a balmy 11. You're rubbing it in my face. I love it. So, yeah, you do get bragging rights for that one. Oh my god, almighty lol morning felt so I can play. Oh my god. I don't know. I, I'm still thinking I, I'm I know I look like I got something on my mind when I'm here. <laughs> That's why Xenia's better. She keeps me from uh uh, going into the other stuff too much. I guess I get a little more uh, raw in this one, so I gotta. I I'm thinking stuff over because I'm like, should I really get into it? Not family stuff or anything like that, but stuff that's bugging me on here and that. But I don't want to be griping about it all the time either. I just I seen another video this morning with a guy that we had a bit a few issues with the other day, and I know Xenia watched it, and I seen where she stopped. It was right when he was talking about us. I mean, he didn't say it directly, but we got it loud and clear. And she probably watched it and then didn't mention it because she didn't want me to see it. <laughs> she uh, she always does. The... No, I, I understand that, Joe. Listen, I um, I don't question that for a second. We love when you can listen. I know I live streams are different. I I don't even I wasn't even that great with live streams to be perfectly honest. But I am trying now a bit better. You're probably way better at them than me. You were probably way better with them than me than I ever was. So I, I appreciate when you can. And I'm like I say, things are going to change. I'm going to start going. I got to get some more cinematic stuff going because I love this, but they're two different. They don't. Uh, they don't fill the void, if you will. Yeah, I know. I figured bottle crap. Bottle bottle crap. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Bottle cap <laughs> would be the first to cheer me on there. <laughs> no, I just want to give a piece of advice. A guy 
but figured he was doing when we never asked for any favors. Ne specifically said we didn't want favors. Goes on Twitter and tries to make it sound like we asked for somebody to come on just to try and help us out because we need help with our watch time. And does it publicly on Twitter saying that we wanted it. Is full of shit, A. B. And you have to ask yourself this. I've always done this. If somebody's so good with advice on how to grow on YouTube, why are they not big? Like, have you ever wondered that about all these help ones? If they're so good at it, why are they where they are? But let me guess, right? It's because they don't care about their own success and they just want everybody else to grow. And there's the odd person that does that. I'm not saying people don't have questions. But I don't like when somebody feeds me shit and tells me it's ice cream. And that's exactly what that was. And uh, you go look at their numbers, and they have one channel, and they're bragging about it and bragging about it because it was one hour, and they got like 11K views. And you look at every other video, and it drops by a couple of K, and then in five later, I think they're down to under 1,000. It's not bad. I'm not knocking anybody. You, uh, I was making, I'm going to say something I usually don't do. I'm going to pat myself on the back. I was making really, really nice content, really great. And I had two that went over. First of all, two that went over more than what that number is, but they were a lot shorter. And I only had 42 subscribers. So I don't think I was making garbage. I'll never say that. I, I, I am always a harsh critic of my work, but I believe that I do good work. So that's one thing. Already the person that's telling me this, I've actually had of two videos, or one video at least, that went higher than what Oh, it reset me. So you see, I guess I didn't want to hear it. <laughs> and I don't mind if somebody wants to go for help. That's great. That's, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, this is happening with YouTube, and it's not just me. A bunch of streams last night. That uh, it's was doing it last week for a couple of days. But ask yourself any time you see somebody saying, oh, self-help, and we're going to grow you to the top, we're going to do that. Ask yourself, well, they're so good at it, A, why are they not doing it for themselves? Now, I always bring it, brought up Peter McKenna a while ago. He did a video that actually got me back into it when the apocalypse came back, putting it in the sense and actually got me off my ass and doing it again. But guess what? The guy's got over a million. He can tell you he has done well. And not that 13, I got 1360 now. I'm doing well. I'm way better than 42, but I'm still a microcosm. Even him at like 1.8 or 1.9, there's tons of channels even bigger than he is. But. <laughs> Uh, just don't let people talk you into all this craziness all the time that they have all the answers and stuff like that You know, you know, it's such an insult to the intelligence Oh, we should get away from live streams and do podcasts and that because of uh, uh, There JJ I just made you moderator too <laughs> um, Oh, sorry, uh, KDDN. I just seen you now my apologies. Uh, thanks for coming. Hope you can drop by again. I don't want to do this all the time, but like this week, I'm really hitting my threshold with all of this stuff, and I'm I don't want to be part of all of it. I don't. I don't want to be a platform. Why use me as a platform? Get somebody who's a lot bigger than us. You know, hey, I'm sure there's a channel with a hundred thousand uh, subs. If you're so great with your advice, that would just like beg you, would pay you to go on and tell them what to do. It's like any self help thing. It always starts the one they want to help first themselves. And I don't knock anybody for that. I don't care. I'm not moral police. If you can make a living off of doing what you're doing, excellent. And I mean that. I don't shame people for making money off it. But don't come to me trying, <laughs> trying to make me your poster boy for it because it's not going to happen. I, we have a job. Pusha Studios, as I said time and time again, is a registered company with the Quebec and federal government. It generates a revenue. It pays for our children's, uh, for our children and us. And that's where all of our eggs are in. This is not my eggs. I enjoy it. I love it. I love what we're doing together. I think our channel has really turned into something special because I never planned to go this way. 
at all. But it still doesn't pay the bills. If I had to pick tomorrow and they said, oh, it's either your YouTube channel or your business, it's my business. I, I, I mean, it would be a dreamland to say no. The chances of making it huge on YouTube are slim. It's the same as a guy playing guitar and puts all these ba uh, coins, uh, all these coins into it for 20 years because he's going to be a rock star. Well, if you're doing it because you, you love what you're doing, great. But if you're doing it with the sole idea that you're going to get rich off of it, nine Nine chances, nine point nine nine percent chance out of ten, you're going to be really let down in it. It's just not. It's not dreamland. It's good to shoot to the stars, but you got to be realistic too. I got a family that expects me to be realistic. So, with all that said, you need six hundred k. Yes, exactly, Coriel. Welcome, by the way. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. JJ, exactly. I mean. Who's sitting in here right now? Which one of us are living solely off of our YouTube channel? I mean, I love you all, and you guys should be a lot harder than what you are. All, and I would do anything to get you up there. Not that I can help you. Disclaimer. I have nothing that I can offer you to help you because I'm learning myself too. And, uh, yeah, see, do the bottle caps. Do it for shits and Exactly. And enjoy that. And, and, if always ask yourself, if somebody's sitting there preaching, they got the answer. Why are you not doing it yourself? Look at a lot of professors that teach the subjects. You, you never ask yourself. I mean, I know school is rewarding, and I and I don't mean another. And some people really do do it for the passion. But you know what I mean. There's also the ones. Uh, I'm, hey Joe, I'm living on empties. <laughs> That's so Canadian. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, beauty, you're not a, a mod yet. We'll fix that. There you go. I want to see nothing. I want to see nothing but blue people. That's my mission. <laughs> yes, Coriolis. $300 every, $100 every three months off to Venezuela tomorrow. <laughs> uh Oh, no problem, JJ. <laughs> no, I mean, and I'm, I'm just done with all of this stuff. I'm done with the grandstanding. I'm done with all. I, I don't hate anybody. I wish even anybody who's doing that, even him, I wish him all the best. But I, don't come in and try and use me as your uh, springboard. I mean, we're a small audience. Go get a big audience. Go. You're so good at it. Get a big channel, and then you're going to just fly off. Putting on a flat hat doesn't exactly make you a, uh, you know. <sighs> See, this is why Xenia is here. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> and I'm even holding back. Like, if this was Twitch or something like that, yeah, I can. I, I, people, my friends keep telling me I should be doing a rant video, a rant uh, channel. But that's here. Maybe Twitch would be. That might be something to look into. Move the whole thing. All, like, leave the channel as it is and keep growing it, but then have something on the. Uh, Later night on Twitch, where you get to really blow off some steam. <laughs> Tesla, welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you for coming. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> we drink a bit, age. <laughs> yes, exactly, Philip. I don't like work, but it pays the bills. YouTube doesn't. Exactly. 100%. And like I said, I can never say enough. Like, I'm so proud. I honestly believe that this stream has been growing the right way and has stayed pretty consistent. Um, of course, some guests will, you know, they're just a guess that the time of day and stuff like that. And uh, all in all, I think it's doing really well. And I take, instead of doing these things, one-time things that will always be one-time things that we're always featuring a new guest helps the guest a lot because people are coming back and saying that they're getting the comments now that people are making more connected comments to their work which i love and if you find a new person tomorrow uh say you find miss kathy for instance and you go and search well our video will come back again at some point in that in the suggested videos and you never know. Somebody three years down the road might find this cat or find uh, Bradford or Philip or uh, Coriolis. I mean, all you guys. I, that's why I do think it. 
helps you guys and helps us. Hey, it's another watch down the road. And it's great for you guys if somebody starts following you later on that didn't know you at the time, can go back and actually get to know more about you. So it'll, I, I do believe that. Do I believe we'll generate us millions? I'd love it to. And you never know one day, but for now, no. But it's still coverage. We still put your link in all the videos. You get an hour and a half relaxed time to talk about you. And like Philip said, we always let you set your own boundaries. Oh, uh, thank you, Steph. That's so sweet. I appreciate that. I love having you here. And I, I love, I, lo I really do. We're a nice sized group that I really feel we got more intimate in knowing you guys and knowing your channels and stuff. I, and if I ever miss a video, like, please don't ever be mad. I'm not trying to write, but now that we are getting bigger, plus the live streams and stuff, it's getting harder. If I ever do drop in on one of our videos, you don't even have to watch it. I'll go check the spam folder. I wouldn't get, ask you to do that. And just say that you put up a new video and, and I'll go watch it because I never want to miss anything like that. And I try my best not to. Like Xenia and I, like last Sunday, we were, like I said, myself, about 14 hours just trying to clean up like the last five days or so. That was very nice of you to say, Steph, you get a moderator too. See? Lots of moderators. Thank you. That's why, like, something in the morning I blow up a bit, because, and I don't, I don't want to do that on the mainstream. It's not the place. I just... It's awful when you don't want to be involved in a mess and somebody's or people or groups or whatever are bringing you into theirs. Like, I don't want that. I'm not interested because the whole point was not to have any drama, but at some point you got to mention it because otherwise people then think they can keep doing it and it's not going to go that way. Like, people joining in our channel. Somebody apologized, I think it was last night about it. I don't care. I would love to see us all find each other in there. That's great. That's a that's a byproduct of it. No, we're not every two seconds telling you to, but go ahead. And we're not the best channel for that. There's other channels do a lot better, you know. So if we complement that and it helps you connect with people who do more of that, that's amazing. I, I want everybody to win in this. If everybody's winning, everybody's enjoying the chat. And if everybody's enjoying the chat, the guests are in, feeling more valued and they're talking more. And we're feeling like we're doing something right and everybody's winning. It's got to be that way. It, it, it's a group effort. I appreciate the other night when St. Otto said that, you know, they said that, um, you know, like there's, you know, everybody's going to be different. Like, because I, I always push that. I don't want to be cookie cutter. And he said, you know, we were talking about doing it, but I didn't know that at the time. And they never accused us of it in any shape or form. We kind of stumbled into it. And they said, you know, like we were talking to them, but you guys are doing it. They're going to do it once in a while. And that's great. Hey, I want everybody to get coverage. You know, the, this is what the hell do we own the rights to here? Nothing in this. This is, uh, uh, I think we do it our own way. And if people like it, that's great. And somebody else goes, if you can get on four or five shows that you're interviewed, excellent. Hey, it, it helps up your, uh, <coughs> elevates your uh, scene. And those are all parts, I believe, that help grow in YouTube. But it's not quick. It's not the secret. Anybody says they got the secret to it and they're going to mentor you and that, they're honestly full of shit. Because they'd be doing it for themselves or they'd be hired by very large companies to do so. I mean, anybody here who's grown up in the 80s and 90s remembers the, 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 the what was it, the, I don't know, the bankrupt barber or whatever the hell he was called and Tony Robbins and all that stuff. They're the ones who got rich out of it. I mean, they did help some people, though, along the way. There were some people who got inspired by it and ran with it. That's great. But there, it's not all just for you, and they don't care if they ever do anything. I mean, of course, they have a vested interest. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are creating more, Badger says. For, yes, and that's exactly it. Like, if it wasn't for the apocalypse... We wouldn't be here right now, myself, I mean, me and Xenia. And I, when it happened, I didn't even care because by then I'd already been done with it and said, whatever, because I wasn't going to put 40, 30, 40 hours into a video and have nobody watch it. It was just like enough is enough. But then I seen that Pierre McKinnon video where he said when he started and he showed it, and I mean, it just clicked with me. 
I needed that boost. And I mean, even him, I don't own my life, okay? He gave a video. Guess what? He made money off of showing that video. And good for him. I don't, it doesn't bother me. Uh, I want to, everybody has a right to do that. But he didn't say also too, like, here's what you got to do and this is it. And uh, you can thank me and uh, follow me around like a lady in waiting. He did a video. He told a story. It was inspiring. He did it that way. He made money off of it. I got back on YouTube. Everybody wins. There you go, Vanessa. Monitor status too. Welcome back. You know. Give Kitty a kitty got a wrench. Don't worry. <laughs> She's all set up. <laughs> You know, like I said, I've seen this from the early, the late 90s with MIRC chats and that. I've seen, that's why we do, I've just thrown out mods. It's not that you guys don't matter. The whole point of it is they're not necessary. If I was having a lot of trouble with mods, I'd do the opposite and just pull it all away. You know, uh, I don't want to have, and you go into some channels, it's a big dictatorship, and it's like, oh, I'm telling you the last, well, if the mods have to do that all the time, A, you've picked either bad mods or B, you're running a bad channel. You're attracting so much of the problems that it's got to be dealt with. That's just my feeling. And, uh, yeah. I'm not sitting there like Terrell has been a mod since the beginning and that. And they're not like, uh, Terrell, we got to band together. We got to try and get a way to do this more. We got to, and uh, you got to cramp down on these guys and we're going to come up with a strategic plan and trying to, like, no. I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. It's always happened, and it's always a colossal failure. You think of any platform since the days of uh, Billboard, uh, not Billboards, um, you know what I mean, you know, in the uh, in the early 90s. Uh, but anyways, here nor there. Every group is the same. I mean, we've gone through tons of these, and everybody thought it was the be-all, end-all on every platform going that platforms have come and gone. This is... Thomas Schmidt, we have to give you a wrench. And there you go, sir. Welcome to the big exclusive club. <laughs> I mean, you guys are amazing. I love that. You guys have made us, and I can't thank you enough. And I hope you guys benefit from it, too. And there's no holding over each other's heads. Hey, you do something tomorrow, and you get a million subs. I don't expect you to come, and I, if you mention me, great. If And the same with me, like, this that's another thing too is with big youtubers this kind of they're getting tired of it too and i don't blame them these big youtubers like uh, uh small ones saying that we, like the big ones owe us a living and gotta support us and they made it to the top no they don't no they don't and even the ones who didn't make it right it's the same as the music business there's some guys that played for 20 years and got noticed and finally got a deal and there's other guys who got in as a boy band and had no talent and they use sync and they're huge but either way why the hell do they owe us anything they don't. There's no need for it. And, and they don't They don't feel guilty. They don't care, and rightfully so. I mean, they do have some empathy. And, and how great is it if tomorrow they went to one of our channels and just by luck seeing something we did and really liked it, and all of a sudden we get, a, you know, they tweet us and we got 100,000 subs the next day. Well, that's great, but even then they didn't have to do it for us. That means they did it because they wanted to, because they like what you were doing. It, nobody owes anybody anything in here. It's good to help each other out. I'm not taking away from that at all, but I mean, like, trying to guilt, uh, you know, or, or get mad at big channels is not going to fix anything. Same as you're a musician tonight going to play in, I don't know, Sault Ste. Marie for 20 people at a drunk at a Legion. Well, yeah, I can understand where you get kind of pissed when you turn on TV and see a guy making millions for a moment, but I mean, he didn't screw you. He was playing there before, and even if he didn't, what can you do about it? Oh, Tracy, welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, you're incognito, coming under your personal one. Nice. <laughs> Good to have you. Well, I've been on quite a rant this morning, haven't I? <laughs> oh, my beautiful wife. Uh, she's she's all right, you know. It's been a big it's been a big adjustment with the time change for her. 
uh, physically. That's been, it's it's draining. Like I say, she has chronic fatigue syndrome. She has fibromyalgia and the headaches, migraines sometimes. So, you know, it's not always easy, but she is a trooper. If there ever was one, she is definitely a trooper. <laughs> Phil Cochran, Blue Man Group, uh, Blue People Group is catching on. Exactly. <laughs> So how are you doing t today, Tracy? We had a great time the other night with you guys as well. We had a lot of couples lately. I, I think Xenia's really into that. I, I wouldn't be surprised she's going to want to make it a soon like a theme, like couples Saturday or stuff like that. I was thinking at some point, maybe bringing back some of the couples and putting everybody on a panel together. That'd be interesting. Well, that's... I. Uh, And we're back. Yeah, YouTube is having a lot of trouble with this stuff lately. Last week was bad, and then it went away. And then last night, even the other streams I was watching was doing it all the time. And thank you so much for uh, the best wishes, Steph. That's that's really sweet of you. You know, you, know, you just got to roll with it. It's uh, it always, I said it before, I'll say it again, it just was weird because... I'm older than Xenia, and you know, and in time, and especially the male, you always think you're the one that's going to get sick, not her. So, uh, so many great channels in here all the time. You guys are, and it's it's honoring to have you guys. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you're sweet as well. <laughs> Yes, Vanessa. Exactly. Exactly. See, I'm thinking out of the box because the guy, it's most guys are like, oh, yeah, I don't know. Way too much to discuss and then bring up and then fight after. <laughs> the cameras go off with each other for talking about. But yeah. No, but I do think it would be interesting. Carol the Crazy Camper. Welcome. Let's see here. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I want there was a yeah, it was the Sky Bridge video. Yes, okay. Now, yeah, welcome. Good to have you here. Uh, several streams have uh, blacked out like this since yesterday for me yep so great to have you here carol thank you for coming i uh, it's uh i think we just like it was just a couple of days ago right i know i apologize i have a really bad memory we were just on the while ago with everything that's been going on lately personally and then working here on the live streams every night and not I'm uh, and sometimes like my wife will watch a video and like it and then I'll watch one and then we'll find out that we uh, you'll um, like for you now if my wife was here maybe she'd say oh I've never seen your channel before and I'll be like uh, yeah I have <laughs> so we get a bit of egg on our face doing it that way but Oh, that's okay. Uh, um, uh, the Murray Sands. Um, not a problem at all. I, I appreciate having you here and that. And hey, everybody's got to eat, my friend. <laughs> so how are you doing today, Carol? Well, thank you, Steph. We, I mean, we just do the best we can. It is getting to the point sometimes where it's hard. Like, you know, somebody watched three videos. Sometimes I got to just, like, thank and watch one and go back. I am trying. It takes sometimes so many hours. And that's a weird feeling. And Because I don't want to be the one that, oh, well, now they're over a 1,000. They don't support. I really, really try with everything I got. And some days it's not so bad. So if you get, a like, a, a bit of a break, you can really make up for time then so then it's a couple of days late 
Everybody loves JJ. You guys got so many great challenges. JJ is one of them. Hey, hey, oh, we got both now. We got Tracy here and we got Andrew from ATGH Travels. Welcome. So good to have you here. Oh, yes, definitely, Carol, you got to get coffee. <laughs> like I say, thanks to my wife, who I never drank coffee. Was a truck driver for those years and that. Never drank coffee, never touched it. Never did anything for me. And every time I tried it every couple of years, I didn't like it. And then I kept adding more sugar, realizing only a couple of months ago, it was the sugar the whole time that I didn't like in coffee. And once I got rid of the sugar, I, I wasn't so bad. And thanks to my very addictive personality, now I'm hooked on it and drink it constantly. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Philip. It's annoying. It's just uh, they're probably playing around with uh, the encoding and stuff like that. I'm probably once again trying to make upgrades. There'll be a year of downgrades in the meantime. So, but I always say, guys, we're lucky. You know. We take for granted that we get to do this for free. And hopefully it stays free. Because even Vimo was free and they got to charge. All that we're doing here has to be stored on a computer somewhere. And there's servers running that cost a lot of money. And uh, I'm not trying to stick up for YouTube. I'm just saying there is the other side to it. We could not be connected today. So I'm glad we can be. I think it's amazing. It just shows you the world we live in. You know, we uh, we get to do this. So if we, and it, and how about I, I usually don't like doing the channel things. I said happen, but I, let's try it. Anybody? Let's all just post where we're from. See where everybody's. Just your city or country, whatever you feel like putting. So I'll start it off. Montreal. Actually, I'll be back one second. My daughter's doing something. I just want to see what she's doing. Oh, well, thank you for your patience. So far, I've, I'd say I've helped 20 to 30 people this way since I started. Cool. Cool, JJ. PA, Wisconsin, New York, Oregon. Oregon, I love Oregon. Pittsburgh, PA. So I got two from PA. That's all. Windsor Locks, oh, Windsor Locks, Connecticut, cool. New Orleans, I always remember you stuff from New Orleans. A lot of from PA here. That's cool. Stuff is from BRB. I'm just kidding, by the way, before anybody thinks I... <laughs> and I know, yes. Oh, oh, Irvin the Paid Tourist, welcome. Welcome, my... Always good to have our truck driver here. There's another one we didn't have. Morning, DJ Kermy. Good to have you here. Ellen's. Uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to just call you Ellen because I, I know I'll mess it up if I try to say it. I, I, I love your, uh, your, your full handle. Ellen's hydrotinous. 
supportive journey. Supportive. I love it though. It stands out, and I love stuff like that. Hmm. How are you feeling today, DJ? I I am. Um, we were talking about you last night because um, we were saying a while ago about Xenia with uh, uh, fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. So she's in a treatment. Uh, she's in a pain clinic here in Montreal where it's like a group of doctors. Finally, she's an extreme enough case that they uh, kind of, it's a bit like a case study, but she also has access then to uh, different types of medication, you know, doctors, uh, psych, uh, physiotherapists, they have groups and stuff like that. Uh, well, I am glad to hear that, DJ. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I don't wish pain on my worst enemy, and especially not on you. So I am really, really happy to hear that. Because, uh, yeah, pain like that, it's nobody should have to suffer. So I, I, once again, very, very happy to hear it. It's funny, you can even just see it in your comment that you're feeling better. <laughs> That's good. So, you ready to take on the day today then? I <laughs> oh, okay. I, I see, Ellen. My, uh, my apologies. So, and I will call it that. And, uh, oh, I think maybe my, okay, I'm just looking at your page. I think my wife. Maybe you and my wife have been in contact already. Once again, like I say, she watches some travels. I have some of the channels I do. And, um, yeah, I think I remember mentioning you. I could be wrong, but and either, here nor less, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to meet her, like I say, guys, mingle amongst yourselves. You know, you get to know there's lots of great channels here. I don't push that. I don't, like I say, I can't, I, I am adamantly don't do that. I don't want to do that, but please, always, the floor is free. You guys are adults. You police yourselves well. Yeah, actually, DJ, there you go. Forgot. Uh, uh, oh, hang on a second here. Uh, we're, uh, I've seen Corn Life, Ditch and Church. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I should I hope it's everything's okay. I shouldn't say it that way. It just was the way it came up. But good morning, sir. Good to have you here. It was so good to have you in Brook last night. <laughs> we were just talking a while ago that um, it's gone so well with the couples that we're thinking maybe trying to get something set up in not too far future. And have like you and Brooke and Kathy and Chris and you know. Uh, I'd like to have touring taste buds that they can make, you know, some of the couples and bring them on and like, you know, there'd be uh, maybe four or five couples on and have like maybe a Saturday night with that just to do something different. Oh, you're out. Oh, you're outside, outside of the church. He's so funny. <laughs> Begins a oh okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, that cannot be very fun, and um, I hope things are going. I. I yeah, that's awful. That's too bad. Like I say, nobody should have to suffer in any kind of chronic illness or pain. Yeah. So, yeah, our, our prayers and thoughts, and I hope uh, things are at least manageable for you. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that would be fun, Rick. I really do. I, I, I'm i not usually the one. That's something Xenia, and she's probably thought it already, but I'm surprised it's coming around. But, yeah, I do think it would be. Oh, you twisted your knee. Oof. That's not fun. From all the praying or what? I'm sorry. I know I should make a joke. I'm sorry. It just. Oh. <laughs> 
that's the hardest part about me was oh, well, not that I follow it too strictly or anything or nearly at all, but being Catholic because it's just an hour of aesthetics in my opinion, followed by making cross signs because you're every two seconds you're either up on up or on one knee. I I I I mean, and religion is. I don't know. I wish sometimes I see, and my wife is more spiritual than I am. I, well, I guess I'm spiritual. I just don't know where it uh, ties to me. So, yeah. Like, there's a great example, like, Rick. Like, you know, and I appreciate, like, I can see his, um, his passion into it. And I wish I could feel that, but I mean, everybody's got to have the time there's right. And like, I mean, like I've never seen him, I've seen him say like, thank you to the Lord and mean it and be, but not ramming it down somebody's throat and very respectful of other people who might not feel the same way. And at the same time, strong enough in your convictions to have a deep inside of you. Like, I think that's such an amazing I think it's what everybody's searching for, and sometimes it's just to find it in their own way. Like I was married before uh, divorce, so when Xenia and I got married to, because uh, I'm a Catholic, I would have to apply for an annulment, which takes about a year, and of course with the Catholic Church, like anything else, takes money. And it was just, it's not that I don't, I regret being Catholic or anything like that, because my, my dad's Catholic, my mother's Protestant, but I was adopted. Uh, my mother lost uh, 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 five children, like giving birth, uh, like before birth, like, you know, up to the, but then the later stages. And they adopted me and then had my sister. But I came from a very small French town in eastern Quebec. So I understood right away why I was adopted as I got older. My mother was 18. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't take a genius to put that one together. And um, the one clause that she asked is that I would be whoever adopted me that I they had to agree to uh, raise me Catholic. So because otherwise I probably would have been raised Protestant because my mother was way more involved with church than my father was. <clears throat> and because I was just to make it easier, they also then baptized my sister Catholic as well. But anyways, that's a long, long, long story. And so when I was getting married, I would have go through the annulment. And really, honestly, it was. I just looked at it and thought it's not worth my time or my money. If I do, if I do it or not, it doesn't matter to me what they thought of it. If I was married again, and we actually went the opposite route, and this time had a pagan wedding because we got married in Iceland and we had a traditional Viking wedding with actual pagan ceremony, which is I don't believe recognized in Canada. But if you get married in a country, as long as the religion is recognized in that country, Canada will recognize it. So that's how we were able to get past that and no it's not uh devil i don't mean to knock anybody's really i always believe religion is the same as every religion is the same in its fundamental views and if somebody's following it in the fundamental key components of it it's the greatest thing in the world because it does the same message all across the board be nice to people be nice to yourself and have them do the same really i know that sounds like i'm simplifying it but that's just my opinion and, um, I mean, pagan was the same way. I mean, the Christians at the time said it was evil and that. Well, of course, because they didn't want people converting to it. Pagan wedding is the same as any uh, Native American wedding. It's all based on elements of the earth. It's based on wind, fire, rains, uh, water, I should say, not rain. It's celebrating the key elements and that we're part of them, you know. It's politicians and it's people that do like and everything else that corrupt something and turn it into something bad. You know, and that's that's always going to be the way wherever there's a buck to be made in something. And religion is not a, an exception to that either. It's actually been at the forefront of a lot of it, but it doesn't mean that religion is bad. It's It's the person who's running with the message. Can either be good or bad. And, you know, most people are smart enough to tell the difference. And some people are going through hard times in their lives and they can cling to a bad message at the time that they usually wouldn't. And, uh, yeah, you know, I believe, 
I believe in being good to my family. I believe in being good to other people. Am I perfect? No. Do I hold myself to a very rigorous set of standards? Well, it depends how you look at it. For my kids, I guess so in a way, because I have to do certain things to make sure that they grow up <coughs> properly. But I'm not perfect, and I don't strive to be perfect. And anybody who's pe preaching perfection to you is the most flawed person you'll ever meet. So that's why I would never take that very uh, uh, to heart. That's why they say no good deed goes unpunished. Exactly. I mean, in the end, in the end, where whatever is waiting for us, wherever we go, or whatever happens, or even honestly, if nothing happens, it's still made your time on this planet a lot more, a lot more uh, well used, not just for you, but for other people, and that's the most amazing core of it. And I admire somebody who has the strength to believe in there's something out there bigger than themselves. And uh, I, uh, not je I wouldn't say jealous of it, but I, I, I really do admire that. I think that's an amazing gift to be able to do that. Sorry, Rick. <laughs> I took from your mention of being in church and all that rant. I do apologize. But I think it's because I really do respect you. And that's why, like, I... I um, you kind of get me thinking about all those things sometimes, like like about somebody's devotion or something and, and how admirable I find it is when I see it in a pure form. So just thought I'd mention that. That's it, Carol. Hey, everybody here, there's a lot of specialty channels, and what you'll realize more, we were saying that the other night with St. Otto, is how many gray areas there are. Like uh, he's a he's done mechanic videos, and he was lucky he had that core to kind of get him started. <coughs> Pardon me. But the more you go, then you meet the guys who are into motorcycles and the guys who are into mowers, and they're kind of you know they still appreciate the mechanical side of everything, so they kind of come in. And then you get the spectator side that just loves really old cars, even though they don't know much about them, and that's another gray area, and uh, so on and so forth. And that can branch out. You can have guys who. Uh, do a lot of artistic work and i mean they can appreciate the beauty and uh you know a polished engine with the nice uh painting schemes on cars there's a whole nother group to come in and it's so on and so forth and you just keep growing from that we're not a specialty channel so that's been a little bit easier for us because we kind of have something that appeals to everybody that wasn't by design that's just because of the business that we do but uh Uh, stuff uh you were <laughs> you too cool all of you much respect and love well much respect and love to you guys as well and especially to you stuff thank you so much um not doing anything just being us i mean if if you like it well then i guess you like us so that's a, i'll take that as a great compliment uh, and thank you Oh, for your mixers. Okay, okay. Yeah, when I used to work for that music company, we had a whole pro division. We did Alan and Heath, and uh, I didn't look after them personally. We were such. A, we were a huge company. We were a distributor once it came to Canada. We also did manufacturing, and uh, uh, Alan and Heath was a big one there. I remember those boards. Some of them, God, they were, you know, like the fifty channel. The thing went across the whole room. Yes, yes. I'm assuming I'm talking to Andrew because I believe Tracy's still yeah, Tracy's still here. Exactly, 100%, without a doubt. That's what it is. It's the old snowflake thing, you know, coming to life. Mm. Um, we have a great mix just just in here right now. If you're to go to everybody's channel and watch one video, I mean, it's unbelievable. You have uh, hours of viewing right there. And then, you know, you find their supporters and you're looking down, like, looking at who subscribed to them. And they're like, wow, that looks like a great channel. I like what he wrote. I love, I go a lot by handles. There's certain handles that just pull me in like that. Uh, and I, I'm running over just to see what they're doing. I can't believe how many people are here for Sunday. I, I'm, I'm so impressed.
Oh, Lewis Hamilton won. Excellent. So that's that's right. That's what you were doing this morning, watching bullets, right? You were watching on TV the race. Hmm. Well, that's great, beauty. That's nice to see. You. Thank you, everybody. That's great to see everybody supporting. You guys are got each other's backs. Good for you guys. Be right back. I need to check some videos out. Oh, no problem, Ellens. Enjoy. You guys realize we're like we're well fifteen right now and seventeen. That's amazing on a Sunday morning. <laughs> More fun than church. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so <laughs> Lil Pusa. <laughs> Rich Davis. Rich Davis. Oh, we're not connected yet. Oh. We'll have to fix that. I can't watch it right now with the live stream going. But uh Oh, oh, cool. Yes, that's right, eh? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It always amazes me. Uh, Nick Vers yes, Nick Versal. I remember your channel. I remember your channel. And guys, if it's been a while since I watched your channel and I'm on the live stream, if you can go and watch and leave a comment on one of ours, I'll definitely go check you out after. And the same if you're new, please leave me a message because I, I I feel bad when I get off a live stream and I got like, you know, six, seven more new subscribers and two comments. I do believe, unless, like I say, I, I, I'm i not there to judge your channel. I'm not going to go and critique it. You have a right to make it your way the way you want to do it. Uh, who the hell am I to tell you to do it any differently? If I like it a lot, I'll be back a lot more for sure. But I'll definitely support you and... Uh, Unless you're doing blatant, in-your-face copyright or full of hate speech, I'm not, you know. Okay. Oh, hey, DJ. Okay, I will have the stream on in the background. Thank you. Oh, well, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate that. And it's really nice having you, and I'm really, once again, glad you're feeling better. Uh, nice to see you, my friend. Never should anybody live in pain. And uh, sometimes, you know, God willing, there is a good night's sleep that can fix that sometimes and then the right pills. <laughs> uh, Irvin to pay tours. Yes, start watching. Uh, start with watching my video with a whole 35 seconds. Now you don't have to. I just uploaded that one to see. How to upload then all hell broke loose in my way. I want this to start. Yeah, everybody's gonna move at their own time, my friend. You, you like we we're saying a while ago, this is not our job. So you, you already have a job. Someday this might blow up and you'll be the biggest person on YouTube, but till then things happen in life, and I mean life comes first. <laughs> Do you want me to bring you on the channel there uh, down in the rabbit hole? <laughs> we can, it's a great way to start off. You can have the towel on your head and be live. <laughs> She's so funny. You had us in stitches. Oh my God Almighty. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I don't doubt that for a second. <laughs> hey, Wabbit. <laughs> Bottle cap's got something for everybody. Opal. Sometimes I try and sub channels and it doesn't let me, but I will promise you. Yeah, that's the hard thing with live streams sometimes too, because you get some new ones and then, and then all of a sudden it puts the brakes on you for a little bit. Um, just try to open them up in tabs and then kind of go to one space them out a little bit. Sometimes that'll make it uh, more friendlier for you. It's uh. 
I mean, what do we say? It's too bad YouTube sticks its nose in that stuff because in one way it shouldn't care at all. But on the other side too, they're they're they are trying to keep it semi capped, I guess. So, and I do believe that we were talking about the other day. I do believe that the AI and Google. No, I'm not wearing tinfoil hat and think it's going to take over the world or anything. But I do believe it learns faster than what the engineers were expecting sometimes. So it's not like the cow is running down the road. But I do believe it gets out of the pen more than we like to think it does. And the engineers are playing a bit of catch up to see what it's exactly learned and where it's going. Well, it's a great morning with you too, Steph. I, this is unbelievable. I really enjoy it with you guys. Welcome back, Ellen. Good to have you back. Uh, hey, maybe you could support Carl the man, the madman. Okay. Carl the madman. Let's see here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, I'm here, guys. I can't see his, uh, your chat at the moment, but I do see you. Paste. Is it, because um, it's, is it Carl the Madman, all one word? And like he has a big uh, banner on the front with a hashtag be ready? Oh, Joe, exactly. Balance. Same here today. Like, even though it's great, like, I'm getting the kids together in a little bit. Uh, Senya is be up, and we're just going to get out of here for a while. <laughs> it's been a lot of work the last couple of weeks building up the, this going, but now it's starting to get more. We have guests ahead, and it's so amazing. People want to be on. And if you know anybody, guys, that wants to be on, you want to be on um, a channel you can think of. Please uh, get them like on Twitter and messaging us at Pusha Studio is all one word. You can find the link usually in the description. And um, yeah, you know, we're always looking. Um, I appreciate if you want to help with a friend just to, like to get them some subs, but we won't, we're not doing that here. I, I want everybody to get ahead and stuff. But really interesting channels and people that really uh, want to kind of share a bit about themselves and uh, are comfortable doing that. You know, whereas it, I'm not saying you guys are doing that, but there's always going to be somebody who thinks that's what I mean. Like, you know, like, oh, I got a buddy and he's got uh, 980. I want to get him on to 1,000. We, we won't do that here because it just goes really bad. Like, we pushed Rick for a couple of days for one very simple reason. We chose him out of many because he's helped people from the beginning and kind of let his own channel numbers fall by the wayside in helping everybody. And... I just did that for him because we talked about it because it was a terrible injustice in my opinion in a way. So, uh, and I mean, I'll always support you guys and I'll say, you know, there's a great channel, check them out. But yeah, we really want guests who want to come on and uh, talk about what they're doing. Yes, Raven Ballcap said, actually, I want both Ravens. Raven's not here yet. No, because Raven was here yesterday. So, uh you know, it, you guys seen what our channel's like. You get a feeling for it. I think Xenia's in talks with Raven already. I'm pretty sure. I, I think that's already been kind of ironed out. Because some people, like, you know, they get, uh, it takes a week or two to get something going. So, but yeah. Midnight Raven. Excellent. So was everything I did? Because I was just saying about getting people on the show. And I think you've already been talking with my wife on Twitter about coming on as a guest, right? Jenny's uh, got part of the schedule here. Uh, or no, she took it with her. Okay. She, I think she was doing changes to it last night. And we're going to start even bringing, you guys are going to be seeing in the next couple weeks, we're starting to actually get... Uh... Oh, thank you, Vanessa, for coming. So great to have you. And uh, I really appreciate having you in here, and uh, see you again soon. Take care. Oh, Midnight at the Oasis. Okay, because I thought she maybe had talked to both of you. Okay, well, like I say, that's why I usually don't do this on the show. 
but because um, I know there's the two of you, and I believe you guys are about to do a collab soon, right? With um, both Ravens. Yeah, Philip nineteen. I I know. I can't believe this. I, I, I no, this is amazing. So cool. Blows me away, my friends. I can probably stay on for about another fifty minutes or so. Um, I don't usually say this for this one, but if you guys want to, if anybody wants to send it out on Twitter, I will never ask you to hammer your Twitter. I'm not going to ask you to go posting your Twitter and everything is for you guys. But if anybody wants to share it, um, it go ahead. Cause yeah, I'll probably be on for, cause I usually never say that with this one too, because I'm uh, never sure how long I'm going to stay on. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that, but I thank you very much, JJ. Xenia and I are kind of, you want to know what Xenia and I are really like? Our intro video that we did, you know, with the flashing where you go and, and clicks and then our video starts playing? That's why I love that picture because that's us. We're kind of a mixture. If you guys follow any photography uh, channels here, there's Tony and Chelsea. I don't know if you've ever seen them. If you see them and you see Peter McKenna, we're kind of a throw of those two, I always say. You know, like we met uh, years ago on the video game Second Life. I mean, we've kind of had a a, uh, a story behind us since we met the day we met. I've stopped using the I'm a creator hashtag and not going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I, and like I say, it's. And I want channels to do well. I'm not, you know, I we're we just trying to do our own thing. And I mean, overloaded. And I and also I've always said, and not picking on on all of them. I'm adamant. We're not. I don't want to be a platform for that. I, uh, there's channels that do great, and I don't mind somebody saying, you know, they they got some subs or do whatever. That's hey, I want everybody to grow, and it is a place to meet people and grow. But we just don't have the time. To give it proper, and uh, it's just not what we're about. Uh, there's enough doing it, you know. Uh, Rich is beautiful. Wow, <laughs> thank you. Wow, no pressure. <laughs> Someday, maybe, and that could be you tomorrow. We could all be sitting there saying, Wow, did you see Rich Davis got his third millionth sub yesterday? Uh, thank you, Tracy, for sharing. That's very sweet of you. And A. Joe said, I know that intro well. Yeah, he did such a great job on our intro in his video. I love it. I was so honored by that. It was it was amazing. And we ended up in a Patsy. I don't know, Joe, if you know that. We ended up in Patsy Houlihan's last video. Uh, the, our, she had put in a tiny bit of our live stream with, uh, with uh, Best Friend in Your Thread. That was pretty cool, too. So, But, but I loved it. I love the way you put you and your wife. It, you you nailed it. So good. I, we were really honored. We watched it like 20 times, I think. <laughs> uh. No, I just want to do our show our own way, do our own thing. I don't expect anybody to be a platform for me and vice versa. And the, the other day with uh, uh, the coach, it got interesting, but squashed that right at the beginning. He made a little video talking about it. I don't care. Like I say, Xenia didn't want me to see it. I know because she didn't want me getting <laughs> angry. <laughs> but it's all good. That's one thing I can tell you. If anybody ever says that we sent you, and this is a disclaimer, said, uh, and I mean, second of all, what? We got like 1,370 uh, subs. Uh, like it's, it's like doing a commercial for McDonald's and saying this guy in middle of Toronto owns a gas station and he recommends us highly. I mean, what kind of endorsement would it be even if we did go along with it? I mean, seriously. Thank you, JJ. And I mean, you guys are the ones that set the tone. You know, if it, it's without you guys and decent guests, this is nothing. We're just basically uh, 
uh, letting you guys make a great show for us. I actually owe you guys the world, so. You have a great day, Joe. You have a fantastic time. Enjoy being out, my friend. And uh, talk to you soon. Enjoy it. Have a great one. Balance, my friend, you're right, is always key. You're heading out. Yep, yeah, Phil, thank you so much then for coming. It's, you, you're unbelievable, my friend. Unbelievable. Andrew, I wish I can draw you with a nice haircut. <laughs> Jitterflex, welcome. Oh, for commenting your video, no need. The pleasure is all ours. You made something great to watch. I owe you. <laughs> Donnie Shaw Show. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you. Uh, sorry, I just got distracted with something. It's hard because I got a lot of thinking to do uh, about some. And guys, like I say, you know, I don't. Uh, we're gonna do things to keep drama free and i wish everybody else the best as well like i do want to see everybody grow in this i think xenia and i are suffering some burnout to be perfectly honest and uh i just wanna i want things to get more even keel like now that the show has been running for a bit and we're figuring out more as we go we got to get a few things to make it easier and also now the guests are starting to want to come on more. So we're not like looking as much. We're trying to streamline that. So I think today, like I'm going to try to do all um, this evening because we're not going to go on tonight unless something drastically changes. We usually try to leave Sunday open. Once the kids are in bed, I'm going to try to make all the thumbnails for the week, you know, the promo videos. Um yeah, you're right, Jitter. Uh, because, I mean, it's been a grind for a long time. And then I just feel like some people are using this and coming and playing with it. And I don't want to wish them bad luck. But, I mean, I also don't. I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going through a lot with that part right now. Uh you guys should run. Oh. Thank you, JJ. That's sweet of you. Um, you know, like like I say, it's weird because like it's we're not using it for our bread and butter. I do want to build a decent channel. I, I do want. I I don't want to use Shog, and I don't want to use a bunch of promises. And I don't want to use everybody using it to try and build it up quickly. I really want something to last, and I really believe by interviewing people. You get to meet them for an hour and a half that people will always watch your videos differently after that because they have more of a connection with you, which means better engagement, better comments, and better continuous engagement. And even after it's done, like, if you, I believe people will go back a year or two later and catch your video. Not that we'll get millions off it, but as people find you, as they find Steph, as they find Beauty, as they find Philip, as they find JJ, find Jitters, and you know, once they're watching a couple of your videos, once in a while, ours is going to come back in that list, and they'll like be wow, uh, they did an interview with them, and they'll go back and learn more about you, which will hopefully build up another round of engagement. And so, uh, um, you know, we're all in this together, and and I, but I'm not no savior to anybody. Neither are you to me. It's uh, just working together and find, like if ever, everybody's got to win and be open and transparent about that. Of course, by doing these channels and having great guests on, we're getting our watch time up. That's great. I'm not making money off it yet. I will monetize probably when I can because the whole point of monetizing is that people will be able to see us for our business, especially in the Montreal area, because then I can bring in more AdSense and that. Because the whole goal of this is to build our photography and uh, videography business because we had to shut it down for a while while Xenia wasn't doing so well. 
but now she's learning to manage her pain better. And, uh, you know, we have to get that running in because we still got to live. So everybody's got to win. I'll never sit there and say, oh, it's just for you guys and I'm saving you. And then without them, no, God, if anything, you're saving us. So, and I want everybody to kind of benefit from that. There's no big money. None of us here are going to get rich for where we are right now and what we're doing, but somebody might take off. And when they do, I'll be the first to congratulate you for it. You know? Many come on this channel and see what you see is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are what we are. Yes, a ATGH. Yes, keeping up with everybody's too. And I get I get guilt about it a lot. And I'm going back sometimes. At one point, I went back two weeks and searching for the couples of the couple of comments is that I just couldn't do at the time. Because I really do want to try. I, I give it everything I possibly can. Welcome, Leah. Good to have you here. Trucking Studios. Good to have you. So nice to have you. We haven't connected in a couple of days. Plays a game uh, called... Uh, oh, my God. Oh my Amer uh, what is it, American Truck Simulator? I, I, I played it myself because there's the European and then the American one. And I like to watch these videos now and then because when I install that game, it's one of the few games where I really get sucked into it. And the next thing you know, I don't do any work for two days. And then I have to completely uninstall it. I can't even just say I'll not play it. <laughs> just laughing at Donnie's comment with JJ. Put <laughs> James Corden. I agree too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't see. <laughs> Not a problem, Leah. It's always good to have you here. So good to have you here. Yeah, I'll I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Yeah. I'll go see Chris actually for a minute. Thank you. Sorry, my daughter just dropped by. <laughs> I would bring her on right now, but my wife will freak if she doesn't have. Uh, you know, her hair done and everything, and it's Sunday morning, so everybody's just kind of in a lazy morning. <laughs> and so, Still holding 14, guys. This is pretty good. It's uh, It's been a fun morning, like I said. That's right. And there's nothing wrong with reaching for the start. I, I love that. I mean, you got to dream big, and that's – Xenia and I are a mix of that because I'm a realist, and Xenia's a dreamer. And uh, I think that's why we kind of balance each other out in that part. Uh, we're, I always believe we're the yin-yang effect with each other. So it's good to shoot. All I just meant is some people are like like going into this and like uh, I see something. I see especially some of them really hard to watch is these, some of these family vlogs where you can see they're like forcing the kid into it. It's like, the, you know, when you go watch uh, basketball or hockey and they're, like, pushing the kid because they want to get rich, you know, you're a ticket to the top. I see that also with YouTube videos. And it's like, you can tell the kid is so scripted and looks just like he's about to crash from trying to do it over 10 times. And it's like, you know, come on now. We're the happy family. And, and the hands are going and, and it's all fake and it's all put on and the kid looks miserable but trying to smile. Those are people set themselves up for disaster. That that's the part that's hard to watch. Same when I worked in the music company because we did endorsements, of course, for Marshall and Washburn and all them. We did. I I was directly involved with working with the signing on of new uh, endorse endorses, then take them to the uppers for final approval. And it's hard because I see some people come in and all their dreams and they have put in years, but. And I know right away in my head within 10 seconds if they're, they got it or not. And uh, it's crushing to some people, and it's sad. But, I mean, that's why when you go into stuff that has a very high success rate of not doing, not getting to the top or not becoming a living, to still shoot for the stars but also make sure, you know, the old expression, don't quit your day job. Which JJ hasn't. She's actually incorporated her day job into her dreams, which is, I mean, probably the most amazing thing I've ever seen. 
No, Jennifer Flakes, exactly. And I mean you in no such way. I'm actually thinking there's three channels in my head. None of them are even here. But yeah, you know, that's... Uh, uh, but I do see it. And that's exactly... It's fine to have a family channel and have fun. I I'm, just, I'm not even picking on family channel. I just took that because kids are involved. But I mean, anybody. I've seen some people saying directly have told me since i've been kind of in this circle i'm gonna do uh, uh uh what do you want to do with it? i want to be a million and i'm going to be a million and i got everything and it's, you're watching it's like god i wish you the best but the chances are really jj amazing congratulations well, there you'll be the singing lawyer in the it, it, with with your car, you know, in the cab. I mean, you can mix it all together. Jitters, we actually hand over the other YouTubers, and they will tell you when tell you we are just yeah, exactly. No, no, like you don't and don't need to. It's got no bearing on you, and I mean, I could still, I could say the same. I've seen the makeup channels. I've seen the same in uh, car channels. I mean, in any type of genre, they're going to have those and not. And so, like, don't. I just took that one just because of kids. It just kind of came to me. You're nowhere in that, not even in that realm. So, you have no reason to uh, defend yourself in any way. Mm -mm. Yeah, <laughs> JJ will sing in court. Yeah. I am guilty. He's guilty. <laughs> Ray and JJ, yeah. That's true. That does have a ring to it. <laughs> that really does. Good eye. Oh. We enjoy it. It's always a great show when you're on, JJ. Like I said, my wife, right from the beginning, has been such a... I mean, I love your work, too, but like she just got like hooked onto it. She was starting to drive me a little crazy now because she's on the other side of the other couch, and she's every two seconds, look, 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 look. Are you going to come see this? <laughs> well, you deserve them, JJ. That's a, a good for you. I mean, hey... The least we can do is say congrats to you for that. I think that's quite an honor that you're getting in. So, and I'm sure you're going to do amazing into it. I'm really happy for you. Oh, yeah. There we go. There you go, coast to coast. You all set. You've been here for a while now. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Love issues at the airport. Exactly. How are you doing today? It is a fun time. I mean, this is what it should be. It's not supposed to be regimented, and it's not supposed to be arguing, and it's not supposed to be big. Th it's just hanging out. There's enough of that in real life. I don't, you don't, you know, don't need it in here. Patsy Houlihan. In Canada right now, where I'm in, in Quebec, it is 12.30, my dear Donnie. I like that, my dear Donnie. It's, it's got a ring to it. I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> yes, exactly, Jitters. I feel bad. Like I, I, I don't. I, I feel so bad now. Like I never meant. I hope I didn't put you on the spot or anything like that. I never even thought of you when I was talking about it. So that's why I was kind of another when I seen you mention. You're all good, my friend. It's, and it was a then it was a bad example. I'll, I'll use. Let's go. God, just like I say, from kids one. It. Uh, I don't know. You ever go to channels and it's just like a, we'll say a mechanic channel. It's like, hi there. And we're the Olsen, and, and it's all like so staged. And ha 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 ha. I wonder where we'll fix that today. I mean, didn't anybody get enough of that crap in 70s uh, commercials? You know, that's what I mean by that. 
you know, just every the more you're yourself, the more people are going to connect with you. And if they don't connect with you, well, then maybe just YouTube isn't a thing. It's, it might not be our thing. You know, I don't know if it is. That's why we were terrified to even do a live stream. Because there was something to wonder about that, that people, there was a mystique behind us when we were doing just the cinematics, cinema, uh, cinematographic. Uh, oh, my God, almighty today, I'm so tongue-tied. The non-talking movies there. <laughs> And, you know, there was kind of a concern about that. Not that we hide like Kiss or anything like that, but, like, people really do mean us. Will they even still like what we do, you know? Um, or will it take away some of the mystique from all of it, you know? As, maybe that's all we have going for us is the bit of the mystique on top of what we do that they were wondering about us. So, I don't know. Just got to try new things and see where it lands and... You know, I, I the live stream has been it's opened a lot of things for us. And uh Yeah, I think it's been good all in all. So far. And if it's not good tomorrow and it doesn't work out, go back to making the cinema movies and everybody's happy. I mean, I still want to do more of them. Uh, welcome, Artful. Good to have you. I, I still surprised at how many people there are. Artful. Okay. I can't. Like I say, I can't add anybody right now. But if you want, uh, just if you get a chance, go to our channel and if you like what we do and you sub uh, uh, sub to us, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll go check you out. Uh, I'll check you out either way. You don't have to subscribe. If you want to leave a comment, I'll definitely go check you out when it's done, I should say. Do what you feel like doing, and if you want me to go look at your channel, leave a message somewhere where I can find you, and I'll definitely go check you out. How's that? Uh, VMix software. And we're back. I hope you can see me now. Just part of YouTube's magic. It happens. It happens. I got so many windows open. I got another, yeah. Let's close that. It's just easier than trying to weed through them all to see which ones are any good. Google Chrome. I'm still looking up that software. Do -do 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 Really? I'm keep that open. Uh, I'm going to check that out after Coast to Coast. Thanks for sharing that. Oh, you posted the link. Okay, thank you. Well, I mean, I'm not telling you guys anything you don't know already. It's just sometimes we get so burnt out and getting told every which way to think and do stuff that <clears throat> you can't see the trees for the forest. I believe that just happens to all of us. And right now is just kind of my time. I'm reevaluating everything and what I want to be associated with, where I want to go, how I want our channel used. Oh, I love that. I love that. Uh, Andrew AD, ATGH travels like we always. Uh, like we always. Good morning. Good afternoon. And good night. Love you all. Bye. That's nice. I like that. You guys take care, right? And like I said, we might have a couples night coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, get some of the the couples that have been on all together in the panel. Exactly, Patsy. Always be true to yourself. You know, and I will like I adamantly a because I believe in our content and b because it's a brand and no it's not coke but it's our brand and it might mean a lot to some other people but it means a lot to us and i won't apologize and i'm actually glad i did that because it gives me a way to handle what i i it's another reason for me to handle things the way we do so really it has been i'm happy that we did it that way 
Yes, Donnie, can't we? I love your channel. And yeah, we have been just a little while since we connected. I love your humor and stuff like that. I, I'm more than excited to have you on. So it's going to be great. That's going to be really cool. And thank you for being generous with your time because I know with the time difference, it's not easy. But see, too, we picked our times difference not to step on other people's toes, you know, to try and be respectful. And we've tried everything that seems like sometimes to get along. And you still have some that, you know, I don't know. And I'm happy the way we're doing things. And people want to do stuff other way. That's great because I believe in variety. And that no way means that I want to do the way they're doing it, you know. But I'm not knocking them for that. I don't want to get into knocking them. I'm like, hey, do what's working for you and you feel comfortable with. And you can go to, the, go to bed at the end of the night and say, I'm not sorry that everybody can see this in a nutshell. That's my way of looking at it. Yeah, I think so, Coast to Coast. I, I usually I wouldn't advise it. I think every man will be terrified for what's gonna when the cameras go off after and you have to explain why you gave that answer or asking her why she went and said that, but it should be interesting. <laughs> right on, we believe. Thanks, Steph. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, uh, is live in Israel here? Uh, oh, yeah, Leah, that's right. I'm so used to now calling you Leah. I always forget your last part of your uh, handle. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's right, 11.37. Because Louisiana is the same as what we what we have here for Atlantic time after Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, PEI. And then Newfoundland is an extra half hour on it. That's right, Midnight Raven. You got to be comfortable with your own channel. At the end of the day, it's your channel, and you have to live with whatever decisions you make that are on it. And we've seen that with channels before. Like sometimes one wrong move, unfortunately, is enough to sink it, and one good move is enough to have it blow off the charts. Every head is a different world. That's right, Jitters. One hundred percent, Jitter. I keep putting an S on it. My apologies, but you are right. Exactly, Donnie. That's that's the whole part of this thing. Is so people get a chance to see. Look how many people we've interviewed in the short amount of time that people like pot like you know, I see it. There's no talk for five minutes, and I'll check the participants, and they're still all there that are really just taking in what the person's sharing something about them that they never uh, ever guessed. And that's the same with anything, it's not just channels with the uh, that have a mission it's also just your own channel it's we got to talk about that because it's important for people to know but it's so much more important to cover all the things they don't get to see in your videos uh how you got to where you are where you grew up what makes you interesting and we don't we like philip said we never push boundaries you guys set the boundaries i'm not here to grill anybody why the hell would somebody come and sit through that i wouldn't you know, I like when people just open up with what they feel like sharing, and I always feel that people take away a better understanding of that person, and that will... <clears throat> You've gone past into the next level with them at that point, and I do believe it makes for good subscribers. That keep coming back and back and back. <laughs> JJ, live with no regrets. That's right. <laughs> Behind, oh, I, exactly, behind, exactly. We understood exactly what you meant. So true. And I'm glad. It's nice to hear you embracing that. Well, that's great, Donnie. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I was the one who went to you right away when I see your channel. I think I watched, what, one or two videos. I was like, I'd love to have you on. Yeah, you really got an interest. I, I like your style and that, so I'm really looking forward to it. You're a great bunch of people. And it shows in the way you treat each other, the way you treat us here on the channel, uh, the, the, the respect. Uh, you know? You know, we got asked what we do and what advice, what, and what advice, but when we teach them, we say it's too much work. So everybody is willing to work and grow. Yep. 
What's my style of music? Kind of everything. I was always, I'll always be a big 80s guy. That's going to be me. I'll always love the 80s rock and metal bands. Uh, <clears throat> country, I listen to because it always makes me feel connected with my dad, but not new country. I like um, Merle Haggard and stuff like that. I still play guitar now and then. Every once in a while, I'll have to go through Mama Tried or something like that. But I also, I don't know, when I'm doing editing and that, I also like some dubstep. And that My music is completely governed when I edit is by the song that just clicks with me. And then the footage comes second. Eric the Red, having a cup, uh, having a coffee and a cig with you. Love it. Love it. So glad you're here. Guys, there's another channel. Uh, great content. And there's a guy who kind of put me through my paces because when I asked him at first, he wasn't in any movements or anything. And he said, you know, I, I, I have my circle of friends and I, you know, don't not always looking for new channels and that. And it took a while. And I appreciate that when he comes in here as like a badge of honor. That I feel like I won him over over time that he's seeing my integrity to what I do and stuff like that. And he's called me on it, and I love that. He's kept me honest, so. Um, so it's always great to see you in here, Eric. Thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for being here. Philip, I can't wait to come on. I have to get a better connection somehow. Or even if, I don't know if you have a friend or somebody with a better connection that you can go to their place even to do, like, you know, if you can work out a time with them, that would be great too. But Oregon, <laughs> hey, well, well, some dude, how's it going? This there's another guy, great video. Just did one on photography, guys, and and videography. If you get a chance, go check it out. He really did a great job. And he was asking the other night if you know, and that's using your resources. He was in with a bunch of creators. We're not all we're all at different levels, and he wasn't sure about the video and the direction, so he just asked people in the chat. I mean, that's so smart. You already got the panel there. Uh, Stephanie from Best Friend Your Thread, uh, Xenia's been asking her to do a vlog, and she's done one, but she's uh, worried to put it out. Like Xenia told her, make it private and then just send it to two or three friends on here that you really trust and have them tell you what they think of it. Don't send it to your best friends that you know says everything you do is great. If you want honest feedback, find the three that you feel are the most honest to give you the true critique and and... You should tap into it. This was this was more of the real music. Pedro's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even we were talking about music, like uh, when I worked for the music company, we had a... Here, I want to show you guys something. It's, it's, some of you guys I know have seen it already, but some haven't. Every once in a while, I bring it out. Just uh, chat amongst yourselves for a second. I want to show you guys... Do, 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 do. And if you have seen it already, I do apologize. I do. Because we talk a lot, so there's it's mostly through photos and stuff like that. I get to share a bit extra with you about us because you guys hear us talking and yapping all the time. <laughs> Let's go down. I didn't really have an... Et yeah, I know, Donnie. That's... I understand that too. I do get that. It is hard. You know, once you get kids, and especially if you're, I was 23 when I had my first son, and a lot of my friends still didn't have kids yet. So uh, they say they're around and it's all cool, but they, you know. Yeah. Here's when I worked for the music company in Montreal. And. Uh, these are some of the ones I used to work with. That's Colin Mockery. Uh, of course, you know Slash before. Uh, Paul Stanley from Kiss. Some of these were taken at the NAMM show. It's the big music convention in uh, Anaheim, California. Uh, this is my cousin with uh, Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. We were backstage at the Bell Center. I met him once or twice before, and my cousin, this was his very first concert he ever went to. And, uh, yeah, he had, he had a big smile from year to year. He was a pretty happy kid for his first concert. It was the Gigantor, so there was like five other bands. I forget their name. There's Kerry King from Slayer. Um, I don't know. A lot. Of, I know it was pretty popular in the States. That's the Canadian show uh, Degrassi. 
and they're the teachers they're from the original series from when i was younger and um uh, that's um oh my god what's his name the rapper they're uh oh my god i know everybody's probably screaming at me you know oh my god he's one of the biggest in the world i was just looking to see if anybody posted their name um is it sharing it is okay um craig northy he wrote a song for a canadian show he's from van the odds and he wrote it for corner gas which was a big canadian show and of course uh uh kevin mcdonald from the kids in the hall where well, that was uh dave foley from kids i that was their first time together in 10 years they were in montreal at the just for last festival this is me holding one of the kids in the hall. That was out of all the rock concerts, you'd think to be wild. They're actually quite tame, but the kids in the hall one was pretty crazy, actually. By far the best uh, backstage I was ever at. <clears throat> and Michael Anthony from Van Halen. He was one of the first people I ever got to meet, and uh, a really one of my favorite bands. So that was pretty cool. This is my son and uh, friend's son from. Uh, we were backstage at the Drum Fest in Montreal, and that's Daniel Adair, the drummer from Nickelback, the the, the drummer from Vancouver that took over for the first one, and uh, uh, Dave Martone. He's one of these famous underground guitar shredders. One of my favorite artists of all time. You ever get a chance to check him out? His name is Colin James. <clears throat> he was uh, discovered by uh, the Stones, Keith Richards. And he actually opened up for them and stuff like that. He was big in the 80s, and now he does uh, big band stuff, but really cool. Uh, yeah, from uh, guitarist from Fall Out Boy, and he's from Black Label Society. Uh, that's my sister, who was on the stream last night with uh, the drummer from In Excess. She was a big fan of them. This is the singer, for, uh, Ed Gary Schroen, from the band Extreme. You probably don't even remember the band anymore, half of you, but it's that song, More Than Words. And also, he did one album with Van Halen that's not mentioned a lot. That was their first time together in years, and it was at the uh, Disney House of Blues. And it was like special access for distributors in that. There was like 500 people there. And uh, he had broke, sprained his foot, wasn't supposed to fly. He flew all the way down and plus did the whole show. And when he came out, he almost fainted because his foot was swollen so badly. And that's the guitarist, Nuno Betancourt, one of my favorite guitarists of all time. Uh, different drummers uh, from around. These are guys I worked with. Uh, photographer, Mike Mangini. He's the one who, at one point, I was with him when he broke the world record for the fastest one-hand strokes. He did 1,203 strokes in one minute playing uh, on a pad. Uh, Jimmy DeGrasso, he was uh, the drummer for um, Alice Cooper, and he was in the movie Wayne's World 2 with them when the Alice was there, and the uh, drummer uh, Morgan Rose from Seven Dust. Yeah, <laughs> that's my cousin at that concert that night. That's the other bands. Like I said, I can't even remember who they all are, but if anybody knows them, you can post it. I think one of them is Macedon, but I'm not sure. This was really cool. This is a band from the 80s called Overkill, and this was the singer Bobby Blitz. And his song, Hello from the Gutter, was the very first song I ever taught myself on guitar when I was 12. And my 10-year-old son was there, and uh, this is in Montreal at their heavy metal festival they have every year. This was the first year they had it. And we actually got to sit down, and I grabbed one of the guitars and got to play a bit while he was singing on top of it with my son there. So that was amazing. Uh, Randy Rhodes' uh, sister, uh, uh, well, the family of them, I should say, uh, who was killed in a plane crash, a lot of you know, was guitarist for Ozzy Osbourne, and that's when they did, they brought back the uh, signature amp. Uh, Nicky Sticks. I didn't get a picture of him when he was on the side, so I just took it after. Uh, George Lynch, another big guy from the 80s, from Dokken, and the Lynch mob later on. The band Warrant, the guitarist, Joey Allen, the drummer, Stephen Sweet. That was on side stage with Anthrax when they were playing at the festival. 
uh, another TV show we worked with, the same ones on the set as Degrassi. Drake, that was the guy's name from Degrassi. Yeah, I met Drake back when he was still in a wheelchair in Degrassi doing his acting thing. I knew it would come back to me. Just know that that's my son with me, working with me. <laughs> that was a long time ago. And now he's 20 years old and living on his own. These were two very, very tall uh, security guards we got. We had um, oh, Tommy Lee from the drummer from uh, Motley Crue drop by our booth, and he didn't want no pictures. He didn't want anybody there, and these guys just touched hands, and like within 10 seconds, everybody was gone. They were friendly, but there was no stopping them once they started moving. And this is my son with Jim Marshall, who uh, created Marshall Amplifiers. And that was really cool because he passed away, and I got to meet him a good bit during the years I worked there because we're the distributor, and he uh, signed my son's amps and stuff like that. He has a minute. My son, we bought my son a mini Marshall stack. It's got two one foot cabinets with a six inch head, and he signed all three and got to hang out with him for a bit. Father allowed. Uh, there was on stage with Warrant. More Warrant. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I always forget his name from the Scorpions. Yeah, Rudolph. This was a team. We brought back a line of guitars called Hagstrom Guitars. There's one guitar player. What's his name? Greeley, D. Greeley. You probably see him comment in some of your videos in these uh, pictures. The headstock of a guitar. Well, it's the headstock for the guitar that we brought back. And I see one of his videos, and he's playing an acoustics, uh, doing a review. And I said, look in the sound hole. You're going to see a label there. And you can see it in the video. And it's me that created that label. I did all the packaging and uh, labeling for it. And that's it. Sorry, guys, I couldn't see the, uh, I couldn't see uh, the chat while it was going through. My apologies. Chris <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thanks, guys. Just a little. I miss it a lot because I was working in the music business years after I stopped playing. I used to have hair down to here. I had all the tattoos. I was a drummer in thrash bands because I was always that guy that grew up in the country. Yes, I could hunt. Yes, I worked on farms, but I always wanted to get to the city as fast as possible. Because <clears throat> a lot of rural areas, if you don't listen to one type of music, you know, you're kind of out of the flock. So I could listen to it, but I was always wanting to get out more and catch the shows and, and then be a part of that. And You know. I've seen somebody mention Vinnie Paul. I met Vinnie Paul at that NAMM show. It was his first public appearance after uh Dimebag was killed and uh of course there was no cameras there there's some of them you just couldn't take pictures there and that was one of those examples i mean he was still it was maybe two months after and just all you can do is just give the guy your sympathies and stuff like that you know oh i wasn't such a celebrity <laughs> they were celebrities <laughs> what i basically did was we we're in the indoor uh, the Megadeth, we'll take Dave Mustaine. Okay, they're playing Toronto, Calgary, and Vancouver. <clears throat> it was kind of my job to uh, set up dates for clinics for them. And then sometimes I'd go or another rep would go. We'd go with them, meet them in the day, take them to the dealer. They'd come and sign a bunch of stuff, maybe have a giveaway. And a lot of times we gave away a couple of backstage passes for some to go and watch the show and then go backstage, and then we would take them back. I was a marketing... Uh, I did... Uh, uh, I was a promotions coordinator was my official title and we created it because of what it encompassed. I did all the marketing advertising for 21 uh, high profile music lines. Oh, well, thank you so much for coming, JJ. And yeah, I'm going to have to shut it down, guys, pretty soon because uh, I'm going to go and spend some of the day with the kids and that. Uh, I didn't expect so many people to be on this morning. It's... Uh, very heartwarming and I really appreciate all of you oh x-ray tech welcome I'm sorry uh I didn't if I missed you when I was doing all that so it's so good to have you here I still love your name you see certain handles really stick out so 
I just watched another one of your videos. I think it was last night or yesterday afternoon. You guys are really great people. And I um, always say we're so honored to have you guys. Uh, what you do, what you guys do, you do amazing. So I feel that by us surrounding ourselves with people like you, it makes us look in a better light. So I really appreciate it. You too, Eric. And uh, keep creating, my friend. Like I said, I meant what I said. You always kind of, I felt kind of, kept me from ever sliding to anything less than a decent standard. So I owe you a lot. I really appreciate it. And you do. I want to have you on sometime. I really do. I want to talk about everything. Oh, guys, I got a call coming in. Sorry, so I'm going to let you go, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for coming by. You guys have a great day. Cheers, and keep creating. Bye now.